You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you go over and check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. 25% off USA First. 25% off USA First. Go now. Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers, yes. <laughs> and uh, Aaron Rodgers was not going to be a part of this, but um, you guys remember uh, Aaron Rodgers um, saying, you know what? I'm not getting the jab. I am not getting the Wuhan virus jab. By the way, there's something in the jab that I'm allergic to. But of course, you know, the Waltsters out there went bananas. And then this one um, MVP voter came out and slammed Aaron Rodgers, said, I'm not voting for him. He didn't. Well, guys, look what happened to this guy today. This must be karma here. AP voter, AP uh, boot, bo- uh, can't even talk. AP Boots voter who refused to vote Aaron Rodgers for MVP because of his COVID vaccine stance. This is karma right here. And I believe his name is, uh, yep, uh, Hub Arkush. <laughs> uh, the Associated Press says drop the MVP award voter who last season said he wouldn't cast his vote for Aaron Rodgers. He said, It was in part because the quarterback refused to take the uh, COVID-19 shot. A source told Outkick on Tuesday. (laughs) I'm laughing at this. Longtime pro football weekly publisher, Hube Arkush, called Rodgers a jerk and a bad guy who was hurting his team. (laughs) I'm laughing because we know about these shots now much more than what we did um, uh, last year. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Oh, the, yeah. This Good followed God. revelations. Rogers had not taken a shot, but he told re- reporters he was immunized. Uh, the AP is revamping his list of voters this year because some died while others had retired. But the Arcus decision, the source told Outkick, it was because he violated the voting rules by revealing his vote publicly before he cast. Oh, so he actually got oh. fired for this. See, I didn't read this beforehand. So oh. him coming out and saying he's not voting for Rodgers for that and said that him, he didn't got, got him his fired. ass run out. Wow. wow. Good. Wow. Good. Because look, I mean, I, I'm sorry, but you know, the vaccine and how he played on the field absolutely have zero yep. to do with the, yep. each other at yep. all. Yep. Come on. Th- this is how badly this whole thing aged. A year ago, you couldn't say on YouTube that if you got the shot, uh, you can actually still spread the virus. You can say that a year ago. You can openly say that now on YouTube because it is a fact. If you get the jab, that's your business, by the way. It's not going to stop you from getting and spreading the virus. It's not going to stop that. And so for this man to come out and say, well, I'm not voting for him because he's a jerk because he doesn't want to get the uh, the Wuhan shot. Yeah, that's pretty that's pretty idiotic right there. Aaron Rodgers had a great year last year. Finished number one in MVP. And the guy's vote didn't even matter because Aaron Rodgers still won it. Well, this is, what he, th- this is what he said here. L- look, they got what he said right here. Uh, quote, I don't think you can be the biggest jerk in the league and punish your team and your organization and your fan base the way. He did and be the most valuable player. Arcus told uh, Chicago 670 the score in January ahead of the AP vote. Has he been the most valuable player on the field? Yeah, you could uh, make that argument. But I don't think he is clearly that much more valuable than Jonathan Taylor or Cooper Cup or even Tom Brady. So from where I sit, the rest of it is why he's not going to be my choice. Do I think he's going to win it? Probably. Well, he was right about that. A lot of voters don't don't approach it that way. I do. But others do who I've spoken to. But one of the ways you get to keep uh, being voters, we're not allowed to say who we are voting for until after the award has been announced. I'm probably pushing the envelope by saying who I'm not voting for. But we're, but we're not really uh, supposed to reveal our votes. So he said it right there. And this is why he got fired. Wow. 
the man knew, I guess he knew his job was going to be in jeopardy, but he still came out and did this anyway. Well, you know what was always weird about that whole thing with Rogers? You know, everybody tried to come down on him because they were like, well, he lied, he lied, he lied. And I was always of the opinion, personally speaking, why did the media and the people on the left that were always banging the drum? Because we got to remember, there were people on Twitter literally calling for people to be incarcerated over refusing to get vaccinated. Yeah. Think about that. I never understood why the media and those people, the, the woke assholes, the nut cases, why did you believe it was ever your entitled right to be told the truth from Aaron Rodgers about that to begin with? I mean, I mean, let's be honest. What business is it of theirs if he considered himself immunized by his standards or not? I mean, that's that's some entitled pompous assholeness if there ever was. Yeah. I mean, yeah. look, yeah, he lied to you. Who gives a shit? I mean, what made you think you were entitled to to know exactly which way he decided to go with that to begin with? It was none of your business. Really? We're talking about personal medical uh, issues right there. And easily. But yeah. that's but that's what happened with the whole thing. I mean, we know that's that's how society took it across the board was I deserve, I mean, people literally believe they deserved to know, not only that, not deserved, they demanded to know whether or not the person six foot away had actually had the shot. No, it was none of your business. Mm -hmm. It was none of your damn concern whatsoever. It you wasn't. Know, you, know, you know what's funny about um, the whole uh, Wuhan virus now? Nobody's social distancing. No, you still see some people wearing masks. Nobody is six feet away from anybody now. That That's completely, you know, falling off a cliff here. Now, I actually did a video on this, I believe, like a month ago on the network channel. This whole thing with the shots. Guess what? 70 percent of people that got the initial two shots said they are not getting the Wuhan uh, virus booster jabs. 70 percent said they're not getting it. Just, just just let that sink in, folks. That's their own personal business. I really don't care. I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. I literally do not care. No, do I, nor do I deserve to know what direction you decide to go yeah. with that. Yeah. Yep. When I, I went to I, the I just, dentist, when I went to the dentist, no mask required, no jab required. Nobody cares. Go to the doctor's office now. Um, no mask requirements. The doctor's still wearing one. He's at least wearing an N95 mask, though. He's not wearing the little blue ones. But that's your business. But this man wanted Aaron Rodgers uh, to be punished because he did not want to get a vaccine. And he publicly came. Now, he's not getting fired because he came out and, um, and slammed Aaron Rodgers for not getting a jab. He revealed his vote. <laughs> That's what got him fired. That was a fact. This statement. They wanted people. They were doing that. did have the. Yeah. That, this was a narrative that was actually going around out there. Yeah. I mean, yeah. the NFL was basically running segregation. I mean, yeah, you couldn't go into a certain part if you didn't get the jab. I mean, that's just crazy. That's just crazy. Idiocy. It's crazy yeah. as hell. Wow. Complete that's, cra idiocy. That's, cra that's crazy that we saw that during our lifetime. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.